Skating is a popular winter pastime across the Red River Valley, but in one rink in the middle of a Fargo cul-de-sac, it caused some tension among neighbors recently. And now it's torn down. Valley News Team's Kirsty Midday spoke to city leaders and parents about why it had to go away. I'm standing in front of what used to be one South Fargo neighborhood's ice skating rink, but now it's just a melting hunk of ice. Instead of getting something special this holiday, the kids on Crofton Lane got their ice rink taken away. There is that safety concern with the use in the island. Parents that live in the cul-de-sac built a homemade ice skating rink for the neighborhood kids to enjoy, but not everyone agreed with it. We were made aware of it through a, a property owner that lives in that cul-de-sac. Um, they called us and said they were concerned. Once the city became aware of the ice rink, they determined it needed to be taken down. It comes down to that liability issue again. That was one of those things that we did not, as a city, we probably shouldn't be allowing until we have an agreement in place, a licensing agreement, and some liability insurance in place. The city says they sent police officers to the neighborhood last week to talk to the parents about the issues of having a homemade ice rink on city-owned property. But they couldn't force anyone to take it down. It's a conversation with city staff first of, is there a path forward? The rink kept being used, so the city put up a notice. And today, it was dismantled with the help of Fargo Public Works. We're here to do what we were told. The city cites concerns with snow removal and managing liability as the reasons why the rink had to come down. In Fargo, Kirstie Madej, Valley News Live. Uh, for comparison, the city of West Fargo says anyone who wants to build an ice rink in the city should contact City Hall and obtain a permit first.